Good morning, everybody. We're here in uh, Ervika. The light starts to go up. We left like six in the morning from at home. And we were here like one hour later. So, of course, getting up 5.15. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, I set up a shot I want to take. Now we just uh, wait for the sunrise, actually. Conditions are not the best, actually. Uh, it's foggy and... Yeah, actually, that's the most problem. Uh, but we're gonna wait it out here and see if it changes. We gotta stick around and try. Actually, down there is the beach, Ervika, but we are not, or at least I'm not photographing in that direction. I can show you what I had in mind. I'm photographing in that direction because, well, considering how the light's coming, uh, that's the best option for me. Uh, let me show you in here what I was thinking. Uh, so basically what I had in mind was to go up, like have the leading line, uh, you see the, the left side corner, you see there's like a tiny, tiny road, which leads up to the top and I have like this small, 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 uh, how you want to call it, cliff in the background. Um, of course the light is, it's just foggy and grey, so I hope we're gonna change. Uh, Afterwards, um, we're just gonna stick around. We see the light's supposed to go up around eight, and I guess now we're like 20 minutes from it. So let's hope it's gonna be something proper. So many smart people saying you should use a shower cap to not get your lens uh, wet all the time. I'm always thinking about it and I'm always forgetting it, so I'm using my head. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Uh, it has to stay like this until we get the right conditions. I don't know if you can see him here, Enrico is still on the hunt for a composition. So as you can see, the fog is like creeping in and out, gets heavy and then goes up a little bit, gets heavy. Well, like I said, we have to stick around. Worst case, we have to do some uh, movie pictures. Anyway, I usually like them most. Uh, but it would be nice to have some with some really good light as well. Uh, Somewhere down here should be Enrico. Uh, I told you he's gonna come uh, on the last uh, video. He came yesterday evening. So we tried to plan for the weekend. Uh, like I said, now is uh, Ervika. Later in the evening, depends on the weather, of course. We're going to Budovic. And tomorrow we don't know yet. Uh, living on the west coast in Norway, it's, even though the weather channel says one thing, in the morning, it can be totally different in the evening, so you kind of have to... Yeah, it indicates, but you can never be sure. Uh, anyway, we try and we see. So, conditions actually get worse than better. <laughs> now I cannot see even like the closest peak. Everything is fogged up. So we said we're gonna give it another 15 minutes. Otherwise, we pack up and then we see if there is anything useful uh, from today.
voi alueella. Ah. Guess what? My hands are cold. <laughs> As usual. And it doesn't look like the fog is going away. And now the camera got hit a little bit by the wind. Ah. Still nice to be outside though. Really nice. Uh, even though we slept like five hours and I had a couple of beers yesterday. <laughs> oh man. What weird things you do just to get a nice picture. <laughs> for at least the light to come and erase or you know if it would just get the light to come on the right side huh? the problem is that it's going to the way it's working it's supposed to get clear but on the wrong side yeah. if this is the sunset it's good yeah because we have a clear sky where the sun is coming from but the problem is that and then like by the evening it just gets more cloudy. That's it for this morning. We're gonna go stop somewhere, get food, head back and dry off the camera, charge the batteries, and relax a little bit and then in the evening we have to find out where we're gonna go. Uh, looks very cloudy in Hurevik for the evening for the sunset. But uh, here, like I said, you never know the forecast is yes, no. So, see you guys at the next spot then. We are on our uh, way to Hudevik, second location. Finally, you can see. Uh, come on. Now you can see Hudevik. <laughs> the weather didn't change much. It's still cloudy. Amazing. Long well, down, the fog. The fog, yeah. But there's one good thing. I got a new lens. It's a 17 to 14, which is. Yeah, like a 14 to 28 on full frame. So if I'm lucky, I can test it out now. Uh, if not, then not. See you later on the way up. Now we're here, we're almost here, as you can see. Udevik and the famous road. Our plan was actually not to drive down or take the, well, let's say take the standard pictures everybody takes. We were thinking about going somewhere up here, we have the vanish point down to the beach and see the sunset, but uh, makes no point since it's covered in fog. So there's a nice river down here. Maybe we find something there. Let's see. Well, doesn't look like we are lucky today. And don't get me wrong, it's nice to be outside. And like I said, those places are close to my new home now, so. Whenever conditions are right, I can come back and take it. It's not like usually on the first time you anyway get something great. First of all, yeah, I mean, condition has to be right and you have to know the place. Uh, explore a little bit to see where where's the good compositions. Uh, so we just take it as a... How to say? Explore. Uh, yeah, 
volevo. <ride> down at the beach, checked out the possibilities here, does look, at least not, it doesn't look like what we want, at least not from now, so after checking in Reiko song we're trying to get a little bit more up in the hill, um, just to see for the next time how the viewpoint is, at least get an impression. Uh, I don't know, we probably got to drive back all the way up the road, the uh, yeah, narrow road to the sign where it says Hurvik. Because the fog and the clouds are like on both sides of the mountain and down on the beach. It started at least to clear up a little bit there. So we're gonna go for the classic shop um, with the street in the front and then the beach in the background. And actually the fog might help to, like, let's say, pinpoint uh, or, or get more of the focus down to the beach. So that's what we want to try. I mean, it's really pretty down here. The beach is nice. And there's some cool, really, really dark black stones, actually. And the sea water is like more like a dark green. I love green. And that still some people out there surfing, which is crazy nothing. Really fucking cold. <coughs> well, he's hanging out down there. Let's hope he's not gonna get sucked up. So I'm actually, I had my... Well, once again, of course, we changed plans. So what I did was... I threw on the new lens in portrait mode and I tried to get like a shot like from all the way to the edge and then having this line where the waves stretch to the stones until down here. I'm not super happy with it but I mean at least we got to try the new lens. That's not bad. I hope he knows I'm not going into the water if he gets sucked up. I'm gonna have my apple. No lifeguard here. <laughs> <laughs> 